Alright guys, what's going on? We're back again with yet another update video. It has been quite some time since I did my last update and honestly that is not really for any particular reason besides the fact that I've been pretty unmotivated to make uh, to make this video for some reason. It's been freezing cold out. Um, happy Thanksgiving by the way for everyone who is in America. It is Thanksgiving Day today. So happy Thanksgiving to all you folks. Um, it's a very sh shitty day outside, to put it bluntly. It's completely dark and gloomy. Um, and that has been the case for the last couple weeks, I feel like, or a little over a week now. So it's been hard to get the motivation to make videos and really to do anything. It's been kind of a dry spell lately. But listen, we're here now. I'm gonna give you guys the update on everything that happened. So the last I spoke to you guys, we were at the Tony Robbins thing. I had a week of radiation left. Radiation is done. We're done with the radiation. Um, any burn mark that you can still see on my eye right here is going the way of the dodo. So in a few weeks, a week to a few weeks, that will all be gone. And we commemorate that with this little thing back here. This is like a testament to the end of radiation. Let me show you guys this puppy right here. This is basically the mask that I was wearing every time I did the radiation. So it would come on like that. That's the way it looked like. It actually looks a lot like my face. And it's very sturdy. It's sturdier than I thought it would be. Um, it's pretty cool. There are some markers on it. I don't know exactly what those are for. But I'm trying to see, like, if there's any radiation marks on it, but there isn't. So that is to commemorate the end of the radiation cycle. And it's also my little twin back there. Basically just a mesh mask to keep your head in place while you get your radiation dose. Um, so that's done. Actually, I rung the bell. I'm going to put the video right here. All right, guys, today we're ringing the bell. Proton treatment's done, the course is run, and I'm on my way. I did ring the bell in the Proton Center, um, which, you know, it's kind of like clickbait because we are not officially, um, we didn't get a clear scan yet, so I'm going to get go over that in just a second. Um, but yeah, so... We haven't rung the bell yet officially, but we did ring the bell in terms of radiation treatment. Um, and I think I put that in the title. So that's very, very exciting, obviously. Super hyped for that. Um, so that ended on November 22nd. This week's been super boring, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Probably the most boring week I've had in like months. Um, I did shave the beard. I don't think you guys have seen me yet. With the buzz cut and the clean shave, um, I do have some hair in the back here that I could use a trim on. Maybe I'll get a haircut. Uh, we'll see what happens. Or maybe I'll just grow it all the way out. Um, in terms of actual treatment goes, we got two more weeks of chemo left. One next Tuesday, December 3rd. And the final chemo will be the following Thursday on December 12th because I am going to Florida in between those two chemos. I'm going to Orlando on a trip with High Lifeline, which is uh, basically an organization that deals with kids with cancer and provides them with different cool opportunities. That's where I went to summer camp over the summer, and that's where I'll be going very, very shortly. Um, that should be exciting enough. I don't know if I'll do the roller coasters or whatnot because uh, I'm not really a huge fan of the roller coasters. Um, but then again, I haven't tried them in a while. As long as it's nothing that'll actually hurt my neck or anything, I'm pretty much fine with that. Um, so that's what's coming up. Two more chemos. Next week's chemo is just the regular vincristine, the one chemical, and the following one is a little bit heavier than that. We got the vincristine and the dactinomycin, which is also given with some anti-nausea medication. So that one's gonna suck. Um, 
and then we're pretty much done um, for good forever. So two more weeks. I cannot wait any longer. At this point, it's basically a sprint to the finish line. Super burnt out of it. Actually, right now I'm okay because it's a break and I need a nice break and it's pretty much chill vibes. But once we get back into the swing of things, I'm going to be ready for it to be over really, really quickly. And then I'm going to Miami. Um, so I can't wait for that. Um, now, as far as everything that's happened in the treatment, nothing really to report on, honestly. That's part of the reason why I haven't been as consistent with making the videos. There's really not that much to say about it. Um, what I will say is that my doctor gave me a very nice pep talk the other day. He said that uh, perspective is everything in life and he told me a story of another eight-year-old kid who eight years ago, he's 16 now, he had a uh, same thing rather than my circle in the orbit um, and he reacted really poorly to treatment, like not physically, but like he was very traumatized by it. His parents were very traumatized by it. And every single time he comes back to the the center to get his uh, checkups, he still pukes to this day. And doctor was saying that I'm not really that kind of patient. And if he just saw me walking down the street, he would never be able to tell that I was on chemo right now, which I think is very true. Um, my skin and everything looks pretty much exactly the same as it did before. Thank God. Um, so that's obviously great and that was a great pep talk very very cool of him to do that um he's a really good guy i have a lot to thank him for uh so after those two chemos we got oh this is another thing we're getting that port out this is great news the port is coming out on december the 16th that's the last day i have to do anything medical um and then on january 2nd I do the MRI and the PET scan, but it's pretty much uh, guaranteed to be clear because this doctor is very cautious. He would not let me get that port out unless he was 100% sure. So, as we all know, they overtreat cancer, especially in young kids, to make sure it doesn't come back ever. Um, which, you know, I have my ideologies on, but, um, you know. We only got two left, so might as well just go through with it at this point. Um, other things in my life, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to figure out what I really want to be doing in terms of like making money. I've been experimenting with some meme coins on crypto, if you guys know what that is. Um, meme coin trading on Boex. Um, I've been not successful, but I'm trying to figure it all out now um, and kind of move past this whole thing. Get back in the gym, which I've really been slacking on as well. Um, as you can see, one of the things that I want to mention is that my eyebrow is missing on the left side. So that's pretty much the only sign that you can tell right now that I might have gotten some sort of chemo radiation. Um, that's because of the radiation. Obviously, the right one is there. So that's just as a result of radiation. It got killed off, but it should grow back according to the radiation oncologist. So I'm excited to get my full look back. Uh, I think I think that we're, we're actually looking pretty, pretty damn good right now. Um, the clean shave was always my favorite look, but sometimes I grow out the beard just to spice it up. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Um, Obviously, sorry for not making an update sooner. I was actually uh, procrastinating quite a bit with this video just because I couldn't really formulate what I wanted to say. But we'll see how it does. We run the bone on radiation, two more weeks of chemo left, and we are done with this entire thing. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for staying tuned to everything that we've been through over the last six-ish six months. And yeah, thanks so much for everything. See you all soon. Peace, happy Thanksgiving, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit.